I'm Lisa Kolchek, Executive Director of the Medicine Hat and District Chamber of Commerce, and I'm joined by Natalie Sonkar, General Manager of Best Western Premier and Executive Residency. That's a mouthful, Natalie. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So we had the pleasure of seeing this beautiful property behind me for your grand opening. Can you tell us a little bit about this brand, the premier brand and the value this brand brings to our region in particular? Absolutely. So Best Western, as most people know, is a global network of hotels in nearly 100 countries and territories around the world. We have uh, 18 unique different brands underneath the umbrella of Best Western. And Best Western has been around for over 70 years. So they, they've definitely got their foot in the door for this industry. Premier, so our hotel is dual branded. We're Premier and Executive Residency. The executive residency side caters to long-term stays. So businesses or leisure that are staying a month, two months, whatever there needs to be. So we have enough to take care of everybody for that side of it. And the premier, uh, that's just Best Western's luxury brand. So we're one of the higher end of all their brands under the umbrella, which is great. Um, the premier brand was rated number one for upscale hotels in 2019 with JD Power, which we're still very proud of. So we're hoping to snag that again for a second year. So yeah, that's uh, hoping to bring that sort of different level of luxury to Medicine Hat. So what were some of the reasons to make that investment here in Medicine Hat and with this particular brand? Uh, well, the ownership, they're locals. So it's locally owned and operated. Um, they like the brand Best Western because it's not a franchise like all the other hotel chains. It's a membership. So that really appealed to them. And just being able to give back to their community, which they feel has been very helpful and supported of them in their other businesses. And they wanted to be able to be within that community and give back. It truly is an amazing property, having gone through that hotel and, and seeing the rooms and the suites. It's definitely worth, worth it for people to, to check it out and, and take a look. Um, I know, obviously, it's very challenging as well being a, a new business, a new property, and particularly the hospitality industry in the midst of everything that's going on. Yeah. So in all of that, what have been some of the supports or resources um, that have assisted you during this time or that you have seen have been beneficial to, to some of the other businesses during the pandemic? Um, I think some of, well, construction and, and then opening are two completely separate things. So the construction side was challenging for sure, just being able to get product in to finish building. But once we opened, our biggest support um, has actually been the chamber. It, it just really be helping us become aware of who can help us with our needs, who we can get in touch with, with whatever we need. Um, just the community itself has been extremely supportive. Um, and that's been really great. And then the local radio stations as well have been incredibly supportive of helping us create awareness that we're, we're open and, and taking customers. Well, that's amazing. And I'm glad we could help. And certainly when we see investment in our community, and you know something something of this size and scale we want to make sure it's supported and that you know it, it can be successful we want all of our businesses to be successful and be able to thrive in in this community so what are some of the supports that businesses in general and and your property in particular need to be successful moving forward and and coming out of this pandemic and into our recovery yeah, well, opening a hotel in the middle of a pandemic sure has been interesting. It's never been done before. So certainly learning as we go. Um, the government supports have, you know, there's been a lot of different programs that the government has, has been able to offer. But the challenge is as a new business, the supports are very limited because we don't have a history. We haven't been open a full year. So really the best support we have moving forward right now is just local support. Um, and that's where we're looking at um, creating some staycation so we can offer that to all the local community and neighboring areas, as opposed to catering to people traveling from afar. So the uh, local support is our biggest thing right now. Yeah, and I think with some of these restrictions, that's something we can all keep in mind is, you know, we're not 
necessarily going on some of those vacations, those typical winter vacations or going to other communities. And so it's an opportunity to, to spend those dollars locally and to, to yeah. stay in a property and, you know, shop local and, and feel like we're getting a little bit of a vacation. And certainly, you know, with the restrictions, I know when I was touring through the hotel in the grand opening, um, you know, even with things like your pool, there's, there's time slots that people can book in. So it's, yeah. you know, while it's, it's challenging, it's kind of nice because it's almost like your own private pool in that particular book time, right? It is. It's been really interesting going through that. So you, you, you get the pool to yourself. You don't have to share with anyone. And then similar with breakfast, because we have staff serving breakfast to, you know, follow all the safety protocols, people are really like having someone serve them breakfast instead of helping themselves. So it's been going over quite well. Well, you, you really do have a phenomenal breakfast option too. So what are some of those exciting things that you have in store and things that we can look forward to? Um, well, as I mentioned, those staycations, we're really working hard on getting several different varieties going. So it's not just one type. So we're really excited about that. One of the other things in anticipation of COVID rules lightening up, we are looking at partnering with the Medicine Hat Stampede. So we're in the middle of uh, negotiating some terms there, which is really exciting for us. And then, of, of course, we have our Denny's opening in, in the beginning of next year. So I know a lot of people are pretty excited about that. Yes, there's definitely a lot of buzz. <laughs> so I think that'll be a hot spot for, for when uh, they're able to open, open the door. Oh, yeah. So Natalie, what is one piece of advice or negative information that you would offer up to other businesses at this time? Um, really just utilize your local businesses and resources. That is your, your biggest thing. Um, because of COVID, you know, a lot of your social media advertising or Google advertising, a lot of that's put on hold. So just, you know, utilizing local, shop local, um, appeal to your local customers. That's, that's your biggest thing. Keep it close to home. Absolutely. Now, you have the benefit of having lived in other communities and coming to Medicine Hat. So yeah. what, what's one thing that you love about this community or that you've experienced since moving here? Uh, everyone is so welcoming and so friendly. It's, it's really been great. Even though it's the size of a city, it still has the small town feel, which I really like. It's been awesome. And, and just kind of selfishly from a chamber perspective, I'll add this one in just for fun. What's that one thing you love about our chamber and what your experience has been so far? Um, just the huge amount of support. Any question we have, even if it's not something you're, you're able to help, you guys are always trying to find an answer for us. Um, just really helpful. There's been so many opportunities for us to uh, create awareness and work with you guys. It's been fantastic. And it really helps us feel like a part of the community, even though we're brand new. Yeah, these are awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. That's something certainly we always try to emphasize is, you know, connect with us. If we don't have the answer, we'll try to find somebody who does for you and, and make sure that you're connected into the community. Yeah. Natalie, it's been such a pleasure getting to know you a little bit more and, and being able to connect with you at your grand opening. Any, any final words or any, um, you know, again, where can people find out more about the property or if they want to, to book with the hotel, what's the best way to connect? Um, well, we have the, our main Best Western website at uh, bestwestern.com. Uh, we still, even though with protocols, we are still offering tours. If somebody wants to come in, we'd be happy to show them around. And, or you can just call us directly and, and we're here to help for 24-7. Amazing. Thank you so much, Natalie. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.